In two months, nearly 40 million American families with children will start seeing deposits from the federal government show up in their bank accounts. It's part of the Biden administration's plan to create a near-universal child benefit that promises to cut poverty for kids nearly in half, if all goes well. As the IRS scrambles to get the new program up and running, the tax agency has deployed hundreds of people to reprogram computers, write new rules and prepare to answer an expected deluge of questions from taxpayers. President Biden said Monday that the vast majority of families with children will see the first deposits on July 15. But that's just the start. Still to come is the harder part. Accomplishing the administration's poverty-fighting goal requires locating millions of low-income parents who don't file tax returns and getting them to start so they can obtain the new benefit. And the vast IRS bureaucracy will need to convert from a focus on collecting money to an equal commitment to distributing it. The IRS core mission is on the revenue side, but they're being asked to do delivery of these important benefits, said Chie Ching Huang, executive director of the Tax Law Center at New York University. That will be a challenge. The task is a huge logistical hurdle and a major cultural shift, both for families and the tax agency, and one of Biden's most ambitious domestic initiatives depends on executing it. Hovering in the background, keenly remembered by many administration officials, is the failed launch of the Obamacare website in 2013, which severely damaged the last Democratic administration's signature program. Officials at the White House and the Treasury Department have been working intensively with the IRS to avoid a reprise. We consider this as important as any implementation challenge we have, Gene Sperling, the White House official in charge of implementing the American Rescue Plan, said in an interview. Over the past year, Congress has given the IRS a series of new tasks, including sending out three rounds of stimulus checks to some 160 million households. The agency has confounded naysayers who predicted it would be unable to pull off those assignments. But revamping the child credit poses a tougher problem, an order of magnitude harder, said a senior administration official. In concept, the plan is straightforward. Since the 1990s, the U.S. has allowed families to reduce their taxes by taking a credit for each child in their households. This year, as part of Biden's $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan, Congress approved a measure championed by leading Democrats, including Rep. Rosa DeLauro of Connecticut and Sens. Michael Bennett of Colorado, Sherrod Brown of Ohio and Cory Booker of New Jersey, which made three big changes.